Looking for a free open source alternative to YouTube? Discover Media CMS, a powerful open source video and media content management system that puts you in control. Build your own media community where users can upload content, organize it with categories and tags, discover through recommendations, and engage with the likes, comments, and shares. Plus, a full featured API lets you integrate Media CMS with your existing tools and build custom features. To get started, Started, you can try their demo cloud version for free or self-deploy it by following the instructions on their GitHub repository. Or you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates, and ongoing maintenance for you. To start using Media CMS on our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Deploy my first service, search for Media CMS, and select. From there, you can choose between different cloud providers, regions, and service plans based on your needs. Once you have made your choice, click on Next. On the following screen, you can adjust more advanced settings and choose between different levels of support. The first one is free and included by default. Once you're all good, hit the Create Service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email. Follow the click here to get the password link. Your username will be your email address, your LSU account email address. Copy the password into your clipboard and follow the admin UI link for your Media CMS instance. All right, let's start by uploading Media. As we are not logged in, we have the sign in form. Let's write our email and paste the password from our clipboard, then sign in. All right, so now we are in the upload section. I can drag and drop file or browse them. I have prepared a video collection of small fun images, videos I found on tenor.co. Let's select and upload all of them. You can see it's doing all of them very quickly as it's very small videos. Let's open one of the media after it's been uploaded and you will see it will autoplay automatically and like on YouTube it will want to play the next one thing that you can display on the top right here or if you press cancel you have the choice between other videos on your instance. You can add some like or dislike, share, save the video, download it and add comments. But before doing it, maybe let's edit our profile so we have a profile picture on the top right. Edit profile. Let's name ourselves Elestio, Elestio Media CMS channel. We can upload a logo. We have one ready for all the videos. Do we want to receive email notifications? Okay, and as we are a super admin, we don't need to check the checkboxes here. Update profile. Perfect. When we save, it redirects us to My Media, which looks like a YouTube channel page. We have our name the logo, our videos, an about section which contains all what I wrote previously. I can also edit the banner. Let's use something else. I have this orange gradient we use sometimes. Update channel. We can really brand our pages. Let's go back to one of the media for now just by opening as a normal user. Let's pause the video and let's try the different features. We can add a like. Uh, share it on different social media or embed it into your website as an iframe. We can save it, which is very similar to the way it's prompted to you on YouTube. You can create a playlist, fun videos I like, add a description or not, create it and check it so it's saved to that playlist. Okay. You can also download it. This is enabled by default, but you have control if you want to allow users to download your videos or not. And let's try the common features. Amazing content. It was so fun. Submit. And this way you can communicate with other users. Let's try the search bar. If we type anything, you can see you have the auto completion, but the name of our video is the name of the MP4 format the file name. So to adjust it, as we uploaded a batch of video, what we can do is go to my media, edit media. And here, instead of having the file name, you can edit it. SpongeBob dance, add some tags, fun, SpongeBob dance, 
choose a date of production, add a description, a lovely SpongeBob dance. If you want to enable comments, if you want to choose a different uh, thumbnail image, poster image, but by default you have one. You can see you have SpongeBob here in the middle. If I try to put something as a value 0.5 update media, it used a different frame of the video. Okay, then you have all the settings. You have trim where you can adjust your video after having uploading it. You can go to captions to add subtitles. And in publish, choose in which category it will appear. Let's say experimental, art, TV, if it's public or not, if it's featured, and if you allow download or not. Okay, let's publish our media. And now we can browse content. If we go to home, you can see the featured ones, the recommended, the latest, and then you have all the different sections. So now I just uploaded a few videos but you can see how quickly with many users uploading content, categorizing them, adding some tags to them, it can create a good place for video consumption. Here we are in tags. You also have categories. We will see later how we can edit the default categories. And you also have members, which are all the users on your media CMS instance. You have multiple ways to add users. The first one is to go to Media CMS Administration, go to Users and adding them manually by defining their password and then letting them update their personal information and picture. Or they can just sign up by going directly to your instance. Another way to browse content is through the playlists. Here you can see the one I created earlier, fun videos I like. You also have access to the history of what you watched and what you liked. If you want to adjust the categories on Media CMS Admin, you can go to categories and then as you are in the administration panel, you can remove them, edit the name, add categories. You have full control over your instance. You can go to the comments and do some administration there. As always, I recommend you to check out the documentation to discover features I didn't present in this video or if you want to know how to use other platform the best way. I will put the link in the description and also the one for the API. This way you can integrate your application or platforms with Media CMS, which can be very useful if your platform needs the hosting of videos. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Media CMS with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video, available here.